modern periodic table. Now let us discuss about modern periodic table. As you know there are 118 elements known till now out of which 98 elements occur in nature. Rest of the elements are man made in the labs. Uh, as you have studied Mendeleev uh, took atomic mass as the basis for the classification of elements which had uh, certain anomalies, certain defects and to remove those defects attempts were made to remove those defects and make a new periodic table. In the year 1913 Henry Mosley suggested that atomic number is a more fundamental property which can be used for classifying the elements and on the basis of which modern periodic table was made and modern periodic law was modified to this properties of elements are periodic function of their atomic numbers. As what he did the in the modern periodic table the elements were arranged in increasing order of their atomic numbers and it was found that the properties of the elements were repeated after regular intervals. There was a periodicity in the properties, periodicity means repetition, repetition of properties occurred after regular intervals. So that the elements with similar properties fall in the same vertical column or group. You uh, can uh, do one activity. Now in the Mendeleev's uh, periodic table cobalt and nickel were placed together along with uh, the halogens. Now we will see whether the positions of cobalt and nickel were resolved and uh, in the modern periodic table how the position of isotopes were decided and uh, position of hydrogen also was not certain in Mendeleev's periodic table and how the position of hydrogen was decided, how was it decided. In the modern periodic table you will see yourself. Modern periodic table was made by Bohar and uh, the, let us see now the explanation for anomalies of Mendeleev's classification of elements. So let us first discuss how position of isotopes were resolved in the modern periodic table. Now as in the modern periodic table the elements are arranged in increasing order of their atomic numbers. So isotopes you know what are isotopes? Atoms of same element with same atomic number but different atomic mass for example chlorine. Now chlorine is the element having atomic number 17 but atomic mass is 35 also and 37 also. So because the modern periodic table is made on the basis of atomic numbers so isotopes will be placed together because they have similar properties. Similarly position of cobalt and nickel was also decided because cobalt and nickel have different atomic numbers. So they can be placed separately. Cobalt has atomic number 27 and nickel has atomic number 28. Position of hydrogen we will discuss uh, after some times. Now in the modern periodic table there are 7 periods. What are periods? Horizontal rows and 18 groups that which are called which are vertical columns in the modern periodic table. Group 1 and group 2 
elements and group 13 to group 17 elements are normal elements. Group 18 elements are noble gases and we are we have made this table of only the normal elements. We will not discuss the elements of group uh, 3 to 12 which are transition metals. Here we have written the elements in increasing order of the atomic numbers from atomic number 1 to 20. To understand the various aspects of modern periodic table, it will be right to write the elements like this. You can also do it yourself and then try to write the electronic configuration of these elements. You can see to find out uh, how many uh, elect, uh, electrons are present in each shell and how many elements are present in each period which can be decided by this formula 2 n square give us the number of electrons in each shell where n is the number of shell. In a shell uh, say k shell, k shell is the first shell. So, n is equal to 1, k shell will have 2 electrons, l shell will have 8 electrons, m shell will have 18 electrons. So, in the first period this is the horizontal row, this is the first period. In first period you can see there are only 2 elements. Now, first period has only, only one shell which can accommodate only 2 electrons. So, first period will have 2 elements. Second period, now you can see the second period, how many shell all the elements in second period has? all the elements have 2 shells. L shell can accommodate 8 electrons. So, in the second shell, second period there are 8 elements. You can see this is the second period and in the third period, in the third period also there are 8 elements. M shell can accommodate 18 electrons, but the last shell can accommodate only 8 electrons. The outermost shell can accommodate only 8 electrons, that is why the third period has got 8 elements only. Now, see this is first group, find out the valency electrons in the first group. You can see all the elements have one electron in the outermost shell. Similarly, in this group you see second group all the elements have two e valency electrons, 13th group you see 14th, 15th, 18th and also see the number of shells in each period yourself. First period has only one shell, second period has all the elements have two shells third period all the elements have 3 shells, fourth period all the elements have 4 shells. So, you can see the number of valency electrons in a, in a group are same and in a period the number of shells are same. Number of shell gives us a, an idea about the period that is number of shell is equal to the number of the period, right. The fifth period will have 5 shells, sixth period will have 6 shells. Now, let us have some idea about the number of elements in each period. Some I, uh, I have already told you how to find out. First period has 2 elements, it is a very short period. Second period and the third period have 8 elements each and it is a short period then fourth and fifth period have 18 elements each, these are long periods, then sixth period has 32 elements, it is a very long period, 
seventh period contains rest of the elements and it is incomplete. Now do an activity yourself, write down group 1 elements right and then name these elements and write the electronic configuration of first three elements yourself. Find out the similarity, what is the similarity between group 1 elements as I have discussed earlier on the basis of that, on the basis of the number of valency electrons, on the basis of valency you can find the similarity in the group 1 elements. And then see the valency electrons in the different groups that are also we have seen the number of shells in each group, the number of valency electrons number of, and valency in each group is same in every group you can have seen already and you can see yourself by seeing the modern periodic table and by writing the elements from atomic number 1 to 20 yourself you can see. Another activity you perform, write down all the elements of period 2 like this L I B E B C N O F N E and then write because these have uh, atomic numbers in the increasing order, you know the number of electrons and then you can write the electronic of all these elements, write it yourself and then find out the number of valency electrons, find out the valency and see how valency electrons vary and how valency varies in a period. Is it same or is it varying? They see it yourself and then later on we will discuss in detail. Now let us discuss about the position of hydrogen. The atomic number of hydrogen is 1 and uh, it, uh, its electronic configuration is also 1 which is present in the K shell that is the first shell. Now the properties of uh, hydrogen are similar to the alkali metals as well as the halogens. Hydrogen atom can easily lose one electron and uh, behave like alkali metals and also it can gain one electron to form various compounds and uh, similar to the halogens. So, its uh, position is a little bit challenging and which was solved in the modern periodic table, it was placed at the top of the first group along with the alkali metals. But it of course does not resemble much with alkali metals, it resembles only in one way that it can also lose one electron and it has only one valency electron and it is its valency is also equal to 1. So, these are the similarities between hydrogen and alkali metals and uh, that is why it is placed uh, over one group, but when we study group 1 metals, we do not study hydrogen with group 1 alkali metals because it is totally different from alkali metals.